So, uh, oh, I guess. Okay. All right. So, uh, is it? All right. Thank you, OCCA, and uh, thank you all for having here, me here tonight. Um, so, I'm, I'm pleased to come and talk on behalf of Brian Ford, who wishes he could be here tonight, but um, uh, he had to go to his best friend's wedding in New York, so imagine with me if you will. Um, so, uh, this idea of climate change has been something very important to Brian uh, throughout his entire career. And, and as a representative, I'm here to tell you about his concerns with, with respect to the climate crisis. And I guess before I go into that, let me tell you why I'm, I'm, I'm a, a good person to talk on, on Brian's behalf. So I'm a graduate student at UC Irvine, and I have a background in renewable energy and green building. Uh, most recently, I ran the uh, solar decathlon effort in 2015. Um, thank you, thank you. And I just came back from the event out in Denver in 2017. It's a great event, and it's still going strong. Um, and so uh, I've also worked before I went back to school in commercial and industrial sectors and transportation. We had clients like US Navy, Boeing, Intel, uh, Seattle Public Schools. Um, so, so I think I have a good understanding of, of climate change and, and how to, to move forward with this, these issues. Um, and that's why I'm a supporter of Brian Ford. And uh, so, so let me tell you a little bit about Brian. Um, he was born here in Orange County uh, on Earth Day, no less, April 22nd. He grew up in Tustin, and uh, his parents still live in here in the same house that Brian grew up in. Um, at, so he started out uh, as in high school, taking classes at UCI and Irvine Valley College. And after attending UCLA, he went and joined the Peace Corps in Nicaragua. As a business and technology volunteer, he small, taught small business school or taught small business skills to high schoolers, and even started a computer lab uh, there on behalf of the World Bank. He founded a telecom company in 2005 uh, using voice over IP, and this lowered the cost of international phone calls by 90% in a community where every penny counts. In addition to that, his businesses, uh, he, within his businesses, he installed displays that uh, demonstrated how much energy people were consuming in Nicaragua. And this, uh, and, and demonstrated to them how they could save more energy using uh, uh, more efficient light bulbs. Now, this is important because when we talk about the climate issue, this is something where we have to bring everyone on board, regardless of income, and Brian Ford understands that. Now, when Obama became president, he joined the, the White House as a senior advisor on emerging technologies. He worked on projects that are central to climate issues and resilience. He, together with NASA, oh sorry, with, yeah, with NASA and NOAA, he worked to make data on climate easier to access by everyone. He was on the front lines during the Hurricane Sandy and, and developed an approach to leverage technology and human resources to help survivors find food, shelter, gas, and electricity. Brian is very much focused on performance solutions. He often brings up the VW software issue, and, and his background as a technologist will allow him to develop policies such that uh, uh, companies like VW aren't able to find loopholes. So fundamentally, Brian is a socially conscious technologist and business leader. He believes unequivocally that we should move to 100% renewables. He opposes fracking, and he supports the Paris Accord. As a native of this district, he's very familiar with local environmental issues. As an asthmatic, air quality is, is a very much a concern to his and hits very much close to home. He appreciates the sustainability and resiliency nexus and believes that this is a way where he can talk to people of liberal and conservative backgrounds alike. Brian is the one to stop Walters rubber stamping of Trump's campaign against the climate. So join me, if you will, and let's move forward with Brian. Thank you very much.